to an historic find on the Cape. What appeared to be a message in a bottle turns out to be so much more. The bottle was found by a man visiting from Isabella in Kituit. And when he looked inside, instead of a message, he found names that could be an important piece of history. WBZ's Mike Sullivan has the story. It's a classic novel narrative when a message in a bottle washes ashore. I happened to stumble across a little glass you know, bottle that was butt up out of the ground. That's where this atypical story starts. So I pulled it out of the ground and I was wondering what it was. Shane Adams was pruning a property on Point Isabella in Kituit. I look at it and there's German names in there and a date of 1944. His first call was to his boss. And they laughed at me. Next, he contacted the Kituit Historical Society to see what they thought. We knew there was prob a good probability that it was real. When I found out, I, I got choked up. The names written inside the corked bottle. Johann Hupp. Claim to be prisoners of war in World War II. In 1944, uh, we were at war with Germany. This stretch of beach near Point Isabella used to be part of Camp Canduit. During World War II, soldiers trained here and later it became a spot to house prisoners of war. In the fall, there was a huge, um, really big hurricane that hit Kituit, and they used the German POWs to help pick up. The soldiers on site were learning to operate amphibious vehicles similar to duck boats. These kids were so young when they came, a lot of them didn't even know how to swim. Beth Johnson is the president of the Historical Society. She says not much is known of what happened to the POWs. A lot of people think they just stayed here and made, made new lives here. Perhaps these names scribbled on old newspaper ads. Quaker rice flakes. May still have family around today. In Kituit, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Mm.